guys, Leah here from Levant TV and on tonight's episode of Arabesque we're in the Mayfair Hotel in central London for an evening of live art and music by Riyad Nicholas and Kibok Morad, two very talented artists. The evening is an aid of Syria Relief supporting the Orphans programme, so very important. Let's take a look. She just explained to me just everybody that attended was completely overawed. And I've been waiting for this moment for years. So Kavork Murad is not only a brilliant studio artist creating paintings in his home and his studio in Brooklyn, he's originally from Armenia. But he's created this truly unique way, he's invented it, of drawing live on stage and they get projected onto screen and they're in complete synchrony to music and not just any music. He performs with world-renowned musicians and um, classical music of the highest caliber. In terms of where he's performed before, it's in museums such as the Metropolitan Museum in New York, Chelsea Museum, Brooklyn Museum, He's exhibited in the Liverpool Biennale. He's acquired by prestigious collectors of the best Middle Eastern art, um, such as Barjil Foundation. And tonight, this is our museum. Kavork Murad's going to be performing here. Now, in terms of who he's performed with be before, comp composers such as Yo-Yo Ma, he's part of the Silk Road Ensemble. Yo-Yo Ma is huge, as is Kavork Murad. Tonight, for the very first time, he's going to be performing live um, to, the, to, with, uh, to the brilliant, brilliant pianist Riyad Nicholas.
My name is Anna. I work for Sierra Relief. I'm the head of office here in London. Sierra Relief is a UK registered charity that was funded in 2011 by seven Syrian trustees in response of the beginning of the conflict inside the country. What we do, we operate directly on the ground inside Syria with five offices where we employ local people and we support civilians that are still trapped inside the country, providing a different range of uh, project that goes from medical, education, livelihood, food, security, winter project, stove, coal, and all the type of support that these people need through the conflict. So tonight was stunning. Tell us a little bit about what else you have coming up and how people can support. So Syria Relief uh, runs a number of events in London during the year. We have a couple of photo and art exhibitions that are coming in June. We'll have a, a film event uh, still in June. We'll, uh, we'll run a um, aid week for um, a dental aid week uh, in July we will have uh, another big event uh, in September so all these events will be published on our website and on our Facebook page we usually sell tickets so people are very welcome to buy the tickets come to the event uh, and make a donation in support of uh, of the organization if people cannot attend our website syriarelief.org.uk is always there and people can can just uh, go online and make a donation Uh, my name is Riyad Nicolas. I was born in Aleppo, Syria. And I've been here living in London uh, for 10 years. I came to join the London International Piano Competition in 2005 and I was lucky to be a prize winner. And since then, door opened door and uh, I studied at the Purcell School of Music, Royal Academy of Music and the Royal College of Music. Your performance tonight was stunning. You were very, very passionate and you've done so well for someone so young. What inspires you? I think, I mean, I loved music. I have a great passion to, to music since I was five years old. And 
uh, I believe that uh, I was very lucky to be put in the right uh, school and the right universities since I was uh, little uh, and also get a lot of support from great teachers such as Sulemita Aronofsky, Dmitry Alexeyev uh, and be very well looked after before. And does um, music run in the family? Uh, my uh, sister plays the piano, my brother plays the violin and uh, my parents as well love music so we all do play. <laughs> so do you think one day you might all come together and do something like this again? Love to, yes of course, why not? Do it for sure. And finally, what inspired you to work with Kevor to do visual art as well as playing the piano because you could be a soloist but you'd like to share the stage. It was beautiful so what, what made you want to do that? Uh, a lot of the piano repertoire uh, is uh, very imaginative and the repertoire which we've played today all relies on images, especially when, with French uh, uh, composition. So every piece tells a certain story and I thought that it's just a great um, uh, idea to, for both of us to share our emotions together and be inspired from each other uh, in a way that I was looking at the picture, he was listening to music, so we, we really got great inspiration from each other and it's something you don't always get when you play only as a solo artist. And you worked very well together with the timings, that must have been quite hard and it's for such a good cause as well. Exactly, well, uh, it, I mean, we are very uh, sorry about what's happening uh, in Syria. Uh, although we cannot uh, change the current situation, but I do believe in the power of music uh, to fashion some kind of, uh, you know, peace and love, and also to show, uh, uh, you know, everybody that we are, you know, people who are highly cultured and who don't only just know how to use a weapon, but also know how to use a musical instruments and to a very high level. My name is Kevork Murad. I'm based uh, now in New York City from Armenian origin. I was born in Syria. I studied visual art and always did art with music. I feel like music always inspires people but can also control your hand. So that, kind of, that became kind of a style for me and I felt like to share this on the stage with musicians started around 18 years ago. And now I work with uh, uh, incredible musicians like Yo-Yo Ma and uh, like Riyad uh, Nicholas and Kina Nazme. So it's kind of, I have full schedule of traveling and sharing this, but I love to share this with people showing that Syrian people have culture, have things to, sh to say. It's not what you see in the media. It's important for me to show the mosaic of Syria and different ethnicity live together in, in, in cohesively. So these are my aim and my philosophy in art, and I love history. I love to cherish what is going away and put in my art. Hopefully that becomes kind of metaphor. People can just hold it and secure it and somehow support it to rebuild the country. And how did you and Riyadh meet and decide to do this project together? Uh, what's interesting, today he told me he's half Armenian. 
like, okay, we've been talking the last months back and forth, planning uh, this program. And today, I don't know why he decided the last day, the same day, for performance to say that he's a Parmenian. But when I uh, heard about his talent, I checked uh, different musicians, but I saw his particularly has very strong classical bass and he's willing to share the stage with others because he's mostly solo pianist. That is already for me a big thing and he's very young. So it means he has that maturity and I said definitely I have to work with this guy and I, I would love to learn from him because he has a specific technique and he's willing to stop and look at me because we have cues together while he's playing. That is already sold. I want to work with him. So what inspired me that someone very young wants to help country, wants to help the orphans, wants to help Syria cause uh, without any agenda. This is what I, I don't have agenda. I want to just be with people. Because when 1915 happened, when we came to Syria as an Armenian, they were welcoming to us. And I think this is a time to show the world that I want to support Syrian people, not only Armenian, Syrian people. So I think that's already incredible inspiration for me today, like lots of people here Syrian, to show we are, like Riyadh and I, are part of Syria mosaic, not only Arabs or Muslims or this. I, I, I don't think about religion at all, but we are part of that beautiful color of Syria. Well, it's truly beautiful and inspiring. And um, just to end, finally, you're very quick and fast. I wanted to know, do you pre-plan what you're going to do or do you just go with the music? It is pre-planned. Uh, at least I know each paper. I name each paper what's going on inside. It's like rooms for me. Every paper is one room. And on top of it, I love to keep mystery and kind of surprises in it. For example, you know, in Ravel, Ondine, is this beautiful woman kind of swimming in the water. So I filmed the dancer and I used it in this purpose. So that is, it has to be pre-planned. Or uh, let's say uh, the houses are building because I want to show, we talked about, we have to rebuild the country. So I had to make the animation of rebuilding the country. So that means it has to be everything pre-planned. It's complicated because sometimes he has to stop longer. He has to kind of do a little improvisation or repeat a couple of things. That's why I loved working with him because not many classical musicians willing to change the score a bit. I guess that makes everything a little bit more exciting. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thanks to you. What a great night here at the Mayfair Hotel with such talented people and for such a good cause. We'll catch you next time on Arabesque. Take care.